During combat, you'll be able to use the combat cards and you'll be able to use the uh, combat qualities. Those are explained separately, but I'll probably mention a few of those in these battles. And while the main rule book has uh, all the specific rules about everything that we're going to go into now, combat range, joint combat, aircraft, adding combat, fact, all that is explained in the, in the uh, main rules books, the quick reference uh, talks about lists of things. So there's uh, obviously the list of the sequence of play, for example, land movements that we already talked about, the land combat actions that are allowed, uh, the actual uh, land combat procedure, which we're going to, this is for each battle, each battle that you fight, this one, or eventually these ones here, uh, this one potentially, any battle that you fight will follow this combat procedure, which is also conveniently placed on the map, step one, two, three, and so forth. The quick reference book also has the modifiers. The quick reference book also has the modifiers. And so does the map here. How to use the green die uh, and the land order of damage. So when units take damage, which units take damage first. And that is also on the map to make it easier for you. So like I said, the game is very, very busy. It's got a lot of little bits and pieces, but it is not hard to play. It's built so that uh, you have all that you need on the map as much as possible. And then you have four instruction books, mainly the main rules book and then the quick reference is where you go all the time to, uh, to look at these things. Um, there's also a list of commander cards explained, combat cards, uh, and the combat qualities that each commander has. Some commanders have experience, uh, attack and defense together, attack, um, speed, others have no qualities at all, notoriety and all that. And that's explained here as well in the quick reference book, what they do. Combat range. Uh, any land force needs a commander over to attack, but not to defend. So uh, if the blue, so the blue can attack this force here, uh, but this force wouldn't be able to attack the blue because they don't have a commander and the blue does. Range is easy. 135 kilometers, this uh, orange stick. Any forces that are in range of the enemy can participate in the battle. So any forces that are in range, for example, of Miaha are able to join in and add their points. Range is defined by forces in range of the center of the defender. So any forces attacking this unit here, it's measured from here outwards. And the reason that this tank especially could not, never be in range is because it has to follow the roads. You have to be in range by road. So if you were to measure, you'd see that it doesn't add up. This force here uh, is in range because, yeah, you would measure that here. Uh, the road that leads here, if you would stretch it out, it's as long as this, therefore there's range there. When an attacker uh, is in range of the would-be defender, that attacker gets to find out what the total points of his closest enemy is. So in this case, for example, it is 1 plus the commander 2 plus 3. We use the black numbers. 3. So that's 6. That's 6 points that he will have to defeat. And of course, we're also going to add the city uh, number there, which is three, making a total of nine. I can't find out how much the enemy has if it's hiding uh, in other places, but as long as they are within range, I get to ask him what the total is. When I'm attacking, uh, for example, if I'm attacking these guys, I have to attack the ones closest to me. I cannot attack these ones. I mean, I can attack them with, with this, but that's a separate battle. If it's this commander, um, it has to be the ones closest to him. And the defender himself uh, is defending with only what is being attacked. If he wants to bring other forces into combat that are in range of him to help defend, that's fine. He doesn't have to move the forces, he only has to account for those points as well. You can use more than one attacker against a defender. In this case, I don't think Asensio is in range. Yeah, he wouldn't be in range because look, this road, if you stretch it out, takes up all that and then you still have to account for that. So he's not in range, but this guy is. So another example here, 
uh, Franco and Davila, they can certainly attack Miaja together in Madrid. Now about joint combat. Any forces that are within range of the battle, both attacker or defender can join. Asensio here is attacking this unit, let's just say, in uh, Jaén. And as long as the artillery is within range, in this case it's not, uh, because it would have to follow that road, and neither is the tank, but let's just say the tank unit is here. It was there to start with. If that was the case, then you measure it, and because the tank and the artillery are within range of the target through the road of the attack, then uh, you can add those points. So Asensio has two for the commander, plus four for the army, plus one for the tank, plus one for the artillery. So you factor in all those points that are in range of the defender, who is defending with only one and one, one plus one, one for the city and one for the CNT unit. Now the defender also, this is in range of the of the defender. The, the battle happens here. This is the, the, the point right here, the center of the unit. So anything within range for the attack and any units that are in range of that can also join, including this aircraft unit here. So suddenly this becomes uh, a lot better for the defender than we thought. We have six, seven, eight points against not one, but two plus one plus two, and we can even bring the cavalry here. So look, suddenly we have six points for the defense. Uh, the city points here does not count for Linares because Linares is not the one under attack. The one under, under attack is here in the city of Jaén. So we count those points. One plus one plus two plus one equals six. Here, the battle in Madrid would be brutal because uh, any force attacking Madrid, all forces within range, this artillery, this aircraft, uh, these units here under this commander, the units here under Posas as well, all those would be factored in. We're talking about probably around uh, 40 points right there. That's why Madrid is so difficult to take. Off the road units cannot join unless they're cavalry. If the Reds here were attacking the uh, Maestrasgo Corps, this army number four and the tanks number two, four plus two is six, uh, they would factor in, but not the artillery because look, the artillery is off the road. It's not on the road. It's an isolated, it has to be always on a transit point, but it's isolated. And this is to reflect the fact that it's not like the artillery is shooting that far. That's not how it is. This is a group of artillery that still have to be brought into the battle by roads. That's why when you when you think about it, uh, you know, roads are very important. That's why you choke points where you where you take positions like those or like these um, are are strategic points to prevent the enemy from bringing up enough troops. Again, supporting units in battle uh, like these ones here, they do not have to move, and they can't indeed move during the combat phase. They're just there, and we assume that. Uh, remember, each turn of the game is three months. Forces in range would be moving along back and forth and parts of the artillery would be moving there and, and the armies. Uh, these are the forces in the theater. We know that they're there to take part in uh, any battles. This is why we have the concept of range and adding up points. The only unit in the entire game that can support battle off the road is the cavalry. If this was cavalry instead of artillery, there, uh, the cavalry would be in range, but all other units need to be linked by the main units attacking or defending by road within that distance. I explained that uh, a commander can co only command armies that are of the equal number of stars or below. Capo de Llano can only command two star armies, or he could command a one star army. Davila can command a three star army. Forces need commanders in order to attack. So for example, here, uh, this army, in order to take part of this battle, it needs to have a commander. Unless the commander, the attacking commander here, Mola, has three stars, and his stars cover the total stars of the armies. So under Mola, there is an army with two stars, the army of the north, and this army has one star. So that is three stars total for these armies. And since Mola has three stars, he can command both of those armies into this attack. But it's fairly easy to just put in a commander there 
uh, if you have a chance you just use one of your dice points when you rolled it for your actions to do so and you can do that during combat you won't be able to deploy a commander but one that is uh, in an empty city you can always put him there at the moment of the attack aircraft of course are part of the battle as well as long as they're in range of the battle units that's the unit that's being attacked uh, or the unit that's attacking that's the unit that's being attacked uh, if miaha was defending then uh, this aircraft would be uh, in range but if miaha is attacking franco then the aircraft would no longer be in range you would have had to have moved the aircraft closer uh during the movement phase but you can still move it during combat and i'll talk about that in a minute aircraft bombing cities the first terror attacks into cities was actually in the spanish civil war condor legion bombed madrid at the end of 1936. your objective in bombing cities is to destroy supply cubes it could be very advantageous because that will stop the enemy from having enough to pay for their defense or their attack to bomb a city, you pay the points. So let me just say I'm bombing with uh, the Condor Legion here. Uh, so I'm using four points. I subtract those and I roll a six die. Quick reference book, Special Air Operations. Aircraft bombing cities is here. And because I am in the Condor Legion, German, and I got a four, I was not able to get any results if i had gotten a five or a six that means i could have destroyed taken away one of these supply cubes from the enemy now that i've used that for bombing it's spent 